Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. If you're a data engineer, ML engineer or AI engineer who is looking to convert your data and AI algorithms into production ready web applications in no time without learning any new language other than Python, then you should have a look at this new framework called as TyPy. TyPy is designed for data scientists and machine learning engineers to build data and AI web applications with lot of ease. It enables you to build production ready web applications and you don't need to learn any new language, only Python is required. You can simply concentrate on data and AI algorithms without development and deployment complexities. There are a lot of other features, for example, type Pi is a two in one tool for user interface generation and scenario data management. If you go through their GitHub repo, and I will drop the link in video description, you will see that there are a lot of other features. For example, it enables you to effortlessly manage massive data sets with TypeWise built-in decimator for charts, intelligently reducing the number of data points to save time and memory without losing the essence of your data shape. And I think that is the biggest advantage TypeWise has to offer. In this video, we are going to install it locally. And then I will also show you an example, which will show you how you can build that web application with lot of ease. Before I do that, let me give a huge thanks to Mast Compute who are sponsoring the VM and GPU for this video. If you're looking to rent a GPU on good prices, I will drop the link to their website in video's description. Plus I'm also going to give you a coupon code of 50% discount on range of GPUs. Okay, so let's go to TypeI. And for that, let me open my terminal where I'm running this Ubuntu 22.04. And I have this GPU card, NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GB of VRAM. Let me clear the screen. First up, let's create a Conda environment. You don't have to create it, but it is always a best practice to do so. So let me create it with Python 3.11. I'm just calling it die. Okay, so it says, uh, okay, you see what happened there? I just made a typo. There you go. So let's wait for it to get activated and then we will proceed further. And the Conda environment is created. Next up, let's, let's install this type I. And you just need to use pip. And of course, you need to have Python and pip installed already. And it, if you're using Ubuntu, it comes already with it. So there shouldn't be any problem. So let's wait for this to get installed. Just takes a minute or so. And type I is installed. It has installed a lot of things, as you can see. Okay, yeah, let me clear the screen. Let me go to my code directory. Let me um, open it in the VS code. Let's wait for it to get opened. Here I'm just going to create a new file. I'm just going to maybe just call it test i.py. And then here, let me paste the code. And this is the whole code which you need as a starting guide. So let me try to explain what is happening here. So as we mentioned earlier, that the basic purpose of this type i is to create web applications. So here we are creating a small app that includes a slider to adjust a parameter, which in turn affects a data visualization chart. And this example is showing that how TypeI can be used to create interactive and dynamic web applications. So this one is using Markdown, but you can render it in HTML or also in Python. So here, there are few elements of this code. We are simply just importing some of the libraries which we have installed, which of course include, include TypeI GUI. And TypeI offers various visual elements that can interact with your Python variables and environments. It allows you to display variables, modify them, and even interact with the application. So in this example, value is bound to a slider and a text allowing the user's input to be directly stored in the value variable. And then this is the data 
which is created through incomplete data function and is updated depending on the slider's value. It is represented in the application as a chart. And then you see we have this on slider function. This is the action that allows visual elements like slider or input to trigger specific function. And then we have every callback, including on slider, receives a state object as its first parameter. And this state represents a user's connection and is used to read and set variables while the user is interacting with the application. And it makes it really possible for TypePy to handle multiple users simultaneously. Also, you see that there is a state dot value which is specific to the user who interacts with the application. And this design ensures that each user's actions are separate and efficiently controlled while other variables could be global variables. And also then, uh, in the on slider function, the value selected by the user on the interface is propagated to the data variable. The outcome is then used to update the chart. As you can see, this main function which starts the UI server that makes the interface active and functional. So let me run it and show it to you. For that, let me save it. And then let's go back to our terminal. And let's run this code here. I'm just going to run this Python function. And you can see that server has started on my local host at 5000. If you go to that server, this is the port 5000. And you see, this is a slider, which we gave the value 10 initially. And it is correct. It has created this interactive chart here. And if you just keep moving it like this, you see, it is interactively moving. And how easy that was to create this type I. Now, if you have ever worked with the data points in data engineering or streaming data or anything like that, or even data sets in the AI, then you can appreciate that how good is that to have something like this in order to create this visualization these interactive charts easily. For example, if you have a data set, you want to check out the variance or skew or a lot of other things, you can simply go in and check that out with the help of this by visualizing it and then you can display it. This could also help you in ensuring the quality of your data set because as we all know that the better the quality of your data set will be, the better your LLMs performance will be less hallucinations and less fabrications and this tool can really help you in that regard so we have not even scratched the surface of it i just wanted to introduce this tool give you this hand hands-on example if you go to their github repo there are heaps of example plus they also have a website where they go into a lot more detail and i would highly encourage you to go there and check it out. They also have this typei.io website, which you can see that, of course, I think there's some pricing, some hosted option there. So, but I'm just showing you to give you an example that what else you can create. As you can see that a lot of visualizations are there. For example, look at this one. How good is that? And sky is celibate. And we already have seen this example. And there are a lot of other stuff you can do, as I mentioned earlier. So that's it, guys. I hope that you enjoyed it. Let me know what do you think. If you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. If you're already subscribed, please share it among your network as it helps a lot. Thank you for watching.